Are you a boring person looking for a good old boring time? Well, the boring man is for you. Today, Brittany reviews the new stickman shooter, Boring Man. I can hardly contain my excitement. This episode is brought to you by GameDeus, the god of artistic motion gaming. Let me tell you, we played this game and wow. It was not boring, but it is called Boring Man. Why? Who knows? Maybe it's because it has the graphics of a four-year-old with the mind of an adult. Or maybe it's because it's described as tactical stickman combat. Boring Man features a wide selection of game modes and an even more vast collection of mutators that turns your vanilla game into a chaotic madhouse. The first mode we tried was literally impossible for me. I suck at anything parkour, and then when you add deadly spikes, it's just a disaster for me. Another round we played was deathmatch, and that was definitely where the fun was. Me, Lauren, and Mike got to shoot each other. Mike prevailed. I kinda did sometimes. But that round was really fun because there's a lot of different unique and interesting weapons that you can unlock by getting enough kills. Tomahawks, sawed off shotguns, and healing grenades, just to name a few. Michael even got this really sweet gun that shoots bombs at you. Why? Why? No, stop! <laughs> no! <laughs> what did I get? A suicide vest. This game is literally one of the most basic games starting out, but it was a ton of fun and actually requires just a little bit of skill. It has power-ups, booby traps, and interesting levels to maneuver through. Not to mention some funny graphics sprinkled here and there. Loyal employees don't need holiday bonuses. <laughs> <laughs> These signs are so funny. It's beyond easy enough to just pick up and start playing right away. In deathmatch, that is. The others, not so much. But if you want to know how to pick up anything or switch weapons, you should probably try out the tutorial. This game was greenlit on Steam for a while, and it recently just turned into a free-to-play game. It has a mostly positive review from 559 reviewers which is pretty good, but I urge you to give it a try and make a rating for yourself. Be adventurous and try something new, and it's helping to support someone who spent a lot of time creating something that you can enjoy for free. I know that many of you think that I'm only supposed to talk about the latest and the greatest games, but that costs a lot of money that I don't have. And you never know, maybe some of these games are actually new and exciting to someone. I know a lot of them are the first time I've played them, so if you are interested, please do leave a comment regarding the game. But new games are expensive and I can't afford to spend that much money. But in the meantime, if you have any recommendations of any games that you'd like to hear me review, leave a comment down below and tell me about it. I hope I didn't bore you too much this time, guys. If you would like to see my Boring Man gameplay or some more on my face, you can check out my link in the description below. It is Brits Games. Come say hi. And until next time, thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you next week. Bye. All right, so we're playing Boring Man. Uh, we don't know anything about this game, except we don't know how to play it. That's except all we can, know. I think we can kill each other. <laughs> Because I think you killed me the last Destroy time. Destroy the Red Menace and join the USC today. Hey, look, I'm Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to buy things. Oh. Uh-oh. Did someone, like, throw a flashbang? Is oh. that a thing? Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.